Welcome to Dang Dang Ka Channel. Category Celebrity Biography. Steve Biko Biography. South African Political Leader. Written by the editors of Encyclopedia Britannica. Last updated, April 20th, 2016. Steve Biko. In full band 2 Stephen Biko. Born December 18th, 1946. King Williamstown, South Africa. Died September 12th, 1977. Pretoria founder of the Black Consciousness Movement in South Africa. His death from injuries suffered while in police custody made him an international martyr for South African black nationalism. After being expelled from high school for political activism, Biko enrolled in and graduated, 1966, from Street, Francis College, a liberal boarding school in Natal and then entered the University of Natal Medical School. There he became involved in the Multiracial National Union of South African Students News, a moderate organization that had long espoused the rights of blacks. He soon grew disenchanted with News, believing that, instead of simply allowing blacks to participate in white South African society, the society itself needed to be restructured around the culture of the black majority. In 1968 he co-founded the All Black South African Students Organization SASO, and he became its first president the following year. SASO was based on the philosophy of black consciousness, which encouraged blacks to recognize their inherent dignity and self-worth. In the 1970s the black consciousness movement spread from university campuses into urban black communities throughout South Africa. In 1972 Biko was one of the founders of the Black People's Convention, an umbrella organization of black consciousness groups. Biko drew official censure in 1973, when he and other SASA members were banned, their associations, movements, and public statements were thereby restricted. He then operated covertly, establishing the Zimel Trust Fund in 1975 to help political prisoners and their families. He was arrested four times over the next two years and was held without trial four months at a time. On August 18, 1977, he and a fellow activist were seized at a roadblock and jailed in Port Elizabeth. Biko was found naked and shackled outside a hospital in Pretoria. 740 miles, 1,190 kilometers, away, on September 11th and died the next day of a massive brain hemorrhage. Police initially denied any maltreatment of Biko, it was determined later that he had probably been severely beaten while in custody, but the officers involved were cleared of wrongdoing. In 1997 five former police officers confessed to having killed Biko and applied for amnesty to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. A body convened to review atrocities committed during the apartheid years, amnesty was denied in 1999. Donald Woods, a South African journalist, depicts his friendship with Biko and Biko, 1977, 3rd Rev. Ed., 1991, and their relationship is portrayed in the film Cry Freedom, 1987. Even though he died at the young age of 30 in 1977, Steve Biko was considered a luminary among the pantheon of great leaders who fought apartheid in South Africa. He was the founder of the Black Consciousness Movement, which empowered black people to take pride in their way of life and stand in solidarity with each other. Biko was also a writer, a human rights activist, an organizer, and is considered by some as the greatest martyr of the anti-apartheid regime. Now Google is celebrating the 70th anniversary of his birth with a commemorative doodle signifying the importance of Bika to his country and the world. Black is beautiful, a note from Google on its website said. Steve Biko knew this fully well, and fought to spread this message across South Africa at the height of the apartheid movement in the 1960s and 1970s. Biko became engaged in the anti-apartheid movement while studying medicine at the University of Natal. He created the South African Students' Organization and in 1968, became its first leader. After he was expelled from medical school in 1972, he started working full-time on the cause leading the government to restrict his movement and activities, to the point of prohibiting him from meeting more than one person at a time. Despite that, Biko continued with his activities including taking part in organizing the Soweto Uprising, 
where police opened fire on student protesters. The Andy apartheid icon died while in police custody in September 1977 after he was arrested in Port Elizabeth for interrogation and then taken to Pretoria for medical attention. Even though the police first claimed he died of a week-long hunger strike, they later said that Biko hit his head against a wall during a scuffle. Since his death, Biko's legacy has been the subject of numerous articles, books and a movie, Cry Freedom, starring Denzel Washington. The Steve Biko Foundation also carries on his vision, working with communities to promote greater self-reliance through education and training. The Doodle from Google also joins those of African icons like Nelson Mandela and Nobel Prize winner Wangari Mathai both of whom dedicated their lives to the pursuit of equality and justice.